Hello. How are you doing? Guess what I have here. Finally gonna do it. Finally gonna do the book review I've been promising you for about, what is it, three, four weeks? I could have, I could have just said a month, but I wasn't sure exactly how many weeks. So yeah, three weeks, let's say. I've been promising you to do a book review of this. And so I'm gonna do it, right? Okay. This is by far, well, th this book series, the Higher Institute of Villainous Education, is what it, Hive is abbreviated for. Um, Hive is the best book series out there, to me, in my opinion. I'm, I'm entitled to my own opinion. Don't judge me. It's written by Mark Walden, and I don't know, I just fell in love with it right away. I picked it up, read the back of it, fell in love. Um, honestly, it takes a while for this book to actually... S okay, let me explain you a thing. Um, I'm going to actually talk about the book now. Um, Hive is a... This, it, it's a school on this island in a... Basically, the school... There's a volcano, right? Oh, huge volcano. School is inside the volcano. The volcano is still... Technically, you find out l later... It's it's not an it's not an like a spoiler or anything really. It's just a cool fact about it. The volcano is actually still active, and you can like see smoke rise and stuff. But the the reason it's not like erupting every time is they tame it. They actually tame a volcano. That's how awesome these people are. Um, really funny fact about this the whole school thing um they used to be set up somewhere in Iceland and um they had um like they had access to like the students were informed before they were t some some of the students because other students are actually kidnapped like over half of the actual like half of the people that are that are there currently pro are probably kidnapped because well they're orphans I mean they don't have anyone answering for them um okay technically they're all kidnapped it's just that some have parents permissions other others don't anyway the reason the whole it had to get moved is actually because um what happened was yeah so Someone told someone, and then it got... Someone told about someone else about the school, and it got all out of control, and basically this... They they had to move. So they're, like, on an island, and all communications are cut off from the outside world, with the outside world are cut off. And, um, that's where the story starts. Um, this guy named this little this kid with white hair there's a reason for the white hair no spoilers um, named Otto Malpens he gets kidnapped um, and he's taken to this school and he's put into the alpha stream which I'll explain streams in a second um, and he basically tries to escape it because would Honestly, would you want to be in a, in a school? That, well, it's, it feels like a prison to him, is what I'm trying to say. Um, at, at first. Obviously, because this is a series, he does not escape. He tries. And, I mean, there's... I should stop talking right, right now, shouldn't I? Um, anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I'll stop talking about that now. I really like... I, I mean, it takes a while to set up and everything because it's the first book. You gotta... He does it really well, though. He doesn't... Er, one reason... I'll talk about Earthfall in the next video. 
that I'm doing, like, of a book review. But, um, there's one tiny little thing that I don't like about Earthfall, is, is that, is, and that is, there isn't enough character development. This is actually really good with its character development. This, the first book. I really like it. You, I got attached to the, the characters right away. Um, it's really excellent. Um, so, right, I, I promised you I would explain streams. So, there's the political financial, which I guess there used to be political and financial. They existed separately, is what I believe. I, I don't know, I've always had that idea that political and financial used to exist separately, and they were pushed together because they're basically the same thing. Political financial is the whole um, corrupt politicians, businessmen, those kinds of people. People, yeah, in power, but yeah. Fun fact, kind of, you'll, it'll be revealed later. The Prime Minister of England is actually one of Hive's previous, perform like, is Hive's former student. Which I really found cool. Um, anyway, that that's a fun fact under the political financial stream. I'm not I'm not sure if I'll have f fun facts for everything. There's the technical stream, which, if not for the alpha stream, which I'll talk about, would probably be the stream I'm in. Yeah, I'd probably be in that stream if if I wasn't such a great leader, because honestly. I'm a I'm an amazing leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um there's the henchman stream, which is basically imagine every football player ever that you know, and I mean like football as in American football. Sorry if you're in England. I hate American football though. Basically imagine those guys and there you have it. That's the entire well, yeah, that's basically the entire um, henchman stream. Sums it up pretty well, I think. I think they're even dumber. Just a thought. Ah, there's the alpha stream. The alpha stream is the leaders, essentially. That's the stream I belong to, right? Right, you know I do. Um, the alpha stream is basically, yeah, you, you, leaders. Um, it's the most f looked down upon stream because, um, they, everyone else in all the other streams feels like, you know, this, there's the whole, you're, you're above us sort of thing. You're, you got, you're getting special treatment basically. Because apparently you're trained to be leaders while we're just... Well, technically, I mean, the political financial stream, they're, they're taught to be leaders of their own thing. It's it's what you're good at. I mean, but... I And I don't really understand all the discrimination against the alpha stream, but... Well, I, I guess I do. I can, I can kind of see, because alpha's the, the alpha pack whole thing. Um, anyway... So, let me tell you who the rest... Professors. Um, headmaster is Maximilian Nero. If you know who Nero is from, like, the Nero the Emperor, who is insane, but I love him. He is a fascinating dude. Nero, the headmaster. The headma headmaster. The headmaster is he's not as insane and he's a pretty awesome dude actually I really like him Nero is great um, and there I mean there was I don't remember who it was but there was someone who created parallels between Nero the headmaster and Nero the emperor I thought it was really cool um, um, there's Raven, the Russian assassin, 
she doesn't count as a professor, but um, I want to include her. And she's basically Nero's bodyguard, and my f she's the most badass character in the entire book series, possibly. Not even possibly. That's it's it's just true. She is the most badass fucking character ever. Every book series, even. Don't question it. Um, yeah, I, I would suggest you read it just because of the Russian assassin. That's how good she is. Just because Raven. Um, there's Professor Pike, who is my favorite c character ever. By far. Don't hold me to that, because every character is technically my favorite character ever in this book series. Beca just because I love it so much. Um, Professor Pike is this really old dude who is the um, head of the science department, and he's like really a, a genius with technology and everything. He created um, Hive Mind, which is someone else I'm going to talk about, even though he's not a professor or anything. Hive Mind is an AI, like artificial intelligence, if you don't know what AI stands for. And um, it's just, he's this really amazing computer program who is in charge of keeping the entire school, like the entire island, which is the school. The island's pretty big as far as... Like, if you want to look at the cover, I think that's the representation of the island. Even, like, it's... the the si This is the size of the island, I suppose. I wouldn't hold it to the cover because this is a, an American f cover. And let's face it, America... America isn't very good with representations of things. It's, it's an island. I, I, I think it's pretty big. Maybe as big as this. That's just how I've imagined it now. But it it makes no sense because of a certain... Because of book two. It wouldn't make sense for it to be that size. Like, I mean, like, in that shape. Yeah. Um, so, don't... This isn't the island, actually. Don't hold it to that. Um, okay. Um, let's see. What was I talking about? Shit. Um. So. Yeah. Hive mind powers the entire thing. Um, c the Contessa. You're gonna feel something is off about the Contessa right away because she can basically like control people, and like I've never liked her as a character. It's just something that I I, I don't I don't know. She put she puts me off, and she should probably put you off to, a bit too, because I mean, you ha she has the power to like say something, and you would just do it. You wouldn't question it. I mean, you would question it, but you can't do anything about it. Um, and that power ha is never explained, which most of the things are actually pretty well explained. If you love technology, by the way, you will love this book. It has a shit ton of technology. Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's like I just I'm not like I'm not the best person like with technological terms and stuff. It didn't take engineering, whatever. But I I wanted to. But um I never did. I, I want to I wanna do it probably in college just so that I can understand this more. That's how much I want I That's how much I love this. I'm actually willing to go there. Not go there as in go hive because I've already been there. I've served my six years. <laughs> okay, um, anyway. The technology is awesome. The techno ba um, babble between Otto and Laura, who I will explain in a second, is pretty awesome. I just want to bring this, uh, these two up. Um, Colonel Francisco, who is in ch like the gym teacher, basically. He's the, he's um, yeah, he's from the military, like obviously. Colonel should give you a guess. Um, and 
Professor Leon. There's a plot twist in there. Just, just about all of them, actually. Contessa and some other people. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you anything. I shouldn't. Just gonna keep quiet. You'll find out when you read it. Now, the main cast, the crew, the people that are important to the escape. No, I don't want to do that because that means I'd leave out Nigel and France. Okay, now I'm going to explain the other characters. Is that a good idea? Is that what book reviews do? Oh, well, if you don't like it, deal with it. Um, so, Nigel. No, no, I don't want to start with Nigel. I like Nigel, but I don't want to start with him. Stop it. Stop. Okay. Otto. I've already explained. He's a genius kid. Oh, fun fact about Otto. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm not gonna. Read the book. Read it. Read the book. Okay, that's a bit creepy. Okay. So, Otto. Wang Fanchu is... He's he's been like Otto's friend from the beginning of the whole thing. They end up in the. It's a ship, actually. Ah, huh. it is a ship. But then again, what isn't a ship in Hive? Um, so Wing and Otto end up like on the same helicopter thing. Yeah, helicopter thing. That's how I'm gonna explain it. Like they're on the same trip to um on the same helicopter that takes them to hive and so I, i'm guessing there are like separate helicopters that take people to hive they're the last helicopters helicopter to arrive basically um and they befriend each other on on the helicopter and well <clears throat> they don't talk like Wing, he's, um, he's basically like the Teal'c of the, the entire series, or maybe more like the Cass. Um, oh crap, some of you might not actually understand any of those references. Um, basically, um, he doesn't, he doesn't take to jokes well. It's not like he's completely out of the loop, like he's an alien or an angel of the Lord. But um, he's, like, impervious to humor, basically, is how I like to think of it. Um, that's why he's, well, okay, I'm not going to go into that. Shelby Trinity. I said Wing Fanchu, right? Shelby Trinity. Well, I know I said it, but did I say his last name? Fanchu. Um, Shelby Trinity, um, who is the thief. She is blonde, blonde hair. I don't know why should. Why am I describing them physically? No, I'm not gonna do that. Stop that. Um, she's the thief. She's pretty awesome. Of course. Ooh, I have this really amazing headcanon. Do if any of you watch Leverage, which you totally should. Um, the character Parker. On there, she is totally Shelby. Shelby. Just right there. Um, totally. That's my he new headcanon for her. Um, Shelby. Parker was Shelby as a kid, and I'm not sure which one is actually her real name. Prob it would probably have to be Shelby then. Um, but, yeah. Who knows? I'm still working on that head headcanon, but it's 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 a sound headcanon. They're both blonde, um, and they're both thieves. And they're both awesome. But yeah, um, and then Laura, um, who is this Scottish girl? Who is her backstory is also pretty awesome. Um, basically, she hacked into an airbase. Like, just to, um, tap someone's phone because she thought uh, that the girl 
that she tapped, whose phone she tapped, thought was talking about Laura behind her back. Uh, that's pretty awesome. To go that far, to hack into like an entire military base, just to, well, air base, but just to uh, monitor someone. And, well, obviously she was discovered because if she wasn't discovered, if she got away. Like she got off clean with uh, uh, with it, she wouldn't be in Hive because, well, no one would have noticed her. But she gets noticed, obviously, and so she ends up at Hive. It was either jail or this for her. So yeah, I guess I'd I'd go with Hive. Of course, she isn't like any. Not none of them actually knew that they were taken, gonna be taken to Hive. They were kidnapped. I I said that before, didn't I? Okay. Anyway, um, other people. I didn't mention two people. Nigel, who is the son of Diabolus Darkdoom. Nigel Darkdoom. Um. <laughs> Diabolus Darkdoom is presumed dead or well nobody actually knows what happened to him um but um he is like the the most like the the most famous villain ever but yeah actually yeah he, it, it is confirmed in book 1 that he is dead actually I don't remember how um but yeah he's dead um I think yeah he's dead don't hold me to that. Uh, let's see. Um, Franz. Franz, 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 Viva Franz. Franz. Stop. Okay, anyway. Um, Franz. Argent Blum. That's his last name. Um, Franz Ar Argent Blum is this really... I want to say chubby. I don't want to call him fat because that's rude. It's rude. I don't want to be rude. So yeah, Franz Argent Blum is this chubby guy. Yeah, he's fat. He's actually yeah, he, he's fat because he's so fat. Okay. Yeah, let, let me let me go ahead and tell you. I, because I just I don't know. Um, he is actually so fat that um, the, the entire stock of uniforms, they didn't have a uniform that fit him, actually. They had to create a whole new uniform size for him. <laughs> I love you, Franz. You're so great. Um, okay, anyway, um, so that was the character summary. The entire series is amazing. You should totally read this book. Um, it's really great. I love it so much. I'm probably going to wrap it uh, wrap it up now um, because that was terrible and stuff. Next book I'm reviewing is Earthfall. And I'm going to go through this entire video and... I'm going to see what worked and what didn't. So, Earthfall re book review should re actually be decent. Because I'm not sure if this went well or not. Probably didn't. I don't know. Did it, I probably missed a whole lot of stuff that I, to talk about. Uh, uh, but yeah. So, that's it. Um... See you next time, I suppose. And also, I can't really edit. I, I thought I was going to... Okay, well, since this is the last few min minutes of... few seconds of the video, I guess I'll wrap it up really quick. Um, I, I was planning... I already made an, one video. It was about... It was a bit shorter, actually, but the problem with that was... Um, I made it on the iPod again. The, this is the only thing that supports a full video transfer. 
if I were to um, transfer that video, it would have I would have had to transfer it in fifteen different pieces. Fifteen pieces for one video. Like I was gonna email it all. I was gonna email it and um, edit it from my computer and Windows Movie Maker and stuff. But apparently that's not gonna work. Not until I get a new camera. Um, so yeah, that happened. So right now, I guess that's it. If you liked this book review, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down it. I don't know. If you have any comments, leave them in the thingy. Um, and that's about it. If you want to suggest any future books that I want to read, also leave them in the thingy, and I will see what I can do with that. Um, I'm. Um, and that's pretty much it. Bye bye. Ah. Uh, 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 uh.